Crewnecks are by far the most underrated item. It's an item that's not really brought up during the fall and winter season, mainly because it's overshadowed by the hoodie. And I'm apologize about the audio in advance. My corgi, she's got a bone. I'm not gonna stop her. But that's just what makes this item more appealing in my eyes. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how I style them. Now take my advice with a grain of salt. I don't really know how to dress. I don't know what I'm doing. Who really knows what they're doing anyways? So what even is a crew neck sweatshirt anyways? Well, go grab your hoodie, chop off the hood, and replace it with the collar and you my friend have a crew neck now they come in many shapes designs and fabrics there are ribbed and knitted ones that are seen mainly in high fashion or during christmas and i'm sorry i don't own any of these so they will be disregarded during the styling parts but just know that you could totally go down this route for a different fabric texture they'll either give you a chic high fashion look or a more grunge or festive look but for this video i'll be talking about the basic cotton crew neck as i find they are easier to style and they're not going to make you break out in rashes like grandma's sweaters would so styling any item starts with color obviously there's an endless amount but trust me on this guys go muted with this one if you go bright vibrant saturated it'll obviously be a statement piece for your outfit so you're gonna have to work around that or have the confidence to embrace a more vibrant color palette and props to you for real if you can pull that off Man, she's going crazy. So when it comes to color, you want to drop the saturation and look for items that have more black or gray added to its color. It's easier to show you guys with Photoshop. All you gotta do is pick a vibrant color, add some black or gray to it, and you'll see that's a more muted, kind of depressed looking color. So these colors are way easier to style around, plus you still get to add colors to your outfit. It's just not a crazy pop of color. Making them more versatile. But if there's one color I'd like to recommend as your first crew neck, Man, it's gotta be the slate gray one. There's just something about this that makes it so awesome. I imagine it's like the MacBooks and the space gray colorway. That's why it's so popular. Like it's not pitch black, but it's also not light gray, which can come off a little bit too laid back and cozy. It's my favorite. Definitely start here. And then I'd recommend moving to cream and then olive, and then you can branch out wherever you wanna go. And if you want some great references to colored crewnecks, I think Kith has definitely nailed their color palettes, but Champion and Talentless are also a great alternative. Now, when it comes to sizing, you can definitely hit the entire spectrum of fitted crewnecks all the way to the oversized ones. And with 2020 being 2020, oversized is just definitely the way to go. It's a lot more comfortable. You're staying at home all the time. There's no need to feel like a sausage. Whichever one you don't have, I definitely say pick that one up. And if you don't have any at all, definitely stick with the oversized one. Trust me on this. They're just a lot easier to style. A lot more comfortable. Crew necks come in so many different configurations. You know the color, you know the sizing, and naturally, I'm sure you just want to roll with a basic one. And I totally agree, but where crew necks shine is definitely with the branded ones. These were made popular, in my opinion, by the collegiate ones. You know, the ones that you'd wear in college. Everyone has worn one of these as their go-to because they decided to sign up for that 8 a.m. class because, oh, I did it in high school. I can totally do it for college. And then you realize that's the worst decision of your life. And so you have to rush a class with an easy to throw on outfit. So you grab that crew neck. I know it's not just me. So it could be a collegiate one, maybe from your school or a school you got rejected from. I went to the University of New Mexico. It's decent pricing. It's printed on Nike or Champion. The quality is there. And that heavy school name branding just means you can get any brand crew neck you want. Champion is definitely the best place to start off because the brand is quite respectable and it's definitely a lot more affordable, especially if it's your first crew neck. But pick up any brand that you want. Most brands do produce their own crew neck it's a staple now moving on from the branding try and go for more unique designs it could be a different pattern of the dyeing process maybe tie-dye or it could be one with asymmetric pockets or color blocked ones there is so much out there you just gotta do your research find a brand that you like find a color palette that you like and roll with it now that you guys know what to look for i'm gonna show you guys some fits first fit up i will be styling my slate gray talentless crew neck they don't have this specific one anymore, but they do have the standard unisex non-branded one. It's the same thing. I'm wearing a size large for the oversized vibe, if you guys are curious. I've raved about Slay Grey crewnecks enough. Start with this one and you won't regret it. Threw on this jade necklace that I got from my mother, who got it from her mother. And I've just got to say that we don't really embrace our own cultures enough. I'm sure you guys have your own unique necklaces or accessories or pendants. Definitely embrace it. Now, since I wore that jade, I wanted to complement that color with the bread ones. Green and red are complementary colors, meaning they are colors on opposite sides of the color wheel. You could watch my color blocking video to learn more about colors and color blocking and what complementary colors mean. But anyways, I've got on this black slim denim. I'm not a big fan of skinny, skinny denim anymore with Jordan 1s. I either like a slim fit to where I can lay it over the top of the sneaker without it flaring out. These are great quality selvage denim from the sponsor of today's video, 
days of September. So I have really fallen in love with this brand. If you don't know what Selvage denim is, just know that it's way better quality. A quick indicator would be the cuff with extra material along the inseam. This is how you know it's met the standard because there are different grades of denim out there. I'm sure you've had a cheap fast fashion pair that either shrunk, ripped, or lost its color with one wash. That's never fun. And so this is where Days of September comes in clutch. They've spent the past two years working with many manufacturers to find exactly what they want. Salvage denim that isn't too stiff, but is also comfortable and is affordable. These have a nice stretch to it and are easy to throw on. And look how good they make my ones look. My other skinny denim is way too constricted, even though it's a stretchy pair. Days of September goes for that more slim fit look, which the ankle taper isn't super tight. And yes, they managed to keep that selvage inseam. And you can just see how much energy they put in by all the little details. They have a button engraved with their logo, a YKK zipper system. There's recessed rivets so you don't end up scratching your phone when you pull it out. You can even adjust the hem to the half inch for the perfect fit. These are now my favorite denim. And so if you guys want to pick up a pair for Black Friday, click the link in the description. You guys can use my discount code TY10. This is going to be their only sale. So definitely capitalize on it if you guys haven't. Thank you Days of September for sponsoring this video. Let's keep it moving. So if you don't like the ones or you just want another easy alternative, swap the kicks for the Oliver Cabell Low. Basically common projects but half the price, throw on a mustard beanie and the outfit is still simple but nice in my opinion. Sometimes simpler is better. For the second outfit, I'm going to be styling this Riot Division crew neck with an extra asymmetrical pouch. This one is an olive colorway and I really have been appreciating the mixture of fabrics lately. So this is cotton along with nylon for the pocket gives it a monochromatic look that I really dig. I have a simple messenger bag from Orbit Gear to add more depth to the outfits and topping it off with a bandana that I know is probably not everyone's favorite, but I've been feeling it. You could easily rock it with that one if you want. Pants are the 511 Apex Cargos and my kicks are the collaboration between a cold wall and Converse. Not a bad fit, but I typically will spruce it up lean more into that tech look by throwing on the SFB field boot twos. What you want for combat boots, and yes, there are people who have served that recommend these boots, you want to blouse them. And this is something I messed up in my combat boots video. There are videos out there on how to blouse your boots, but to keep it simple, since we're not in the army, you want your pants to kind of flare out and start stacking, or you can go with the traditional technique and roll the hem inside your pants. It gives your fit a clear disconnect of stacked fabric to the boot silhouette. Yeah, I'd probably rock this a lot more than the cold wall sneakers, but I just decided to try it out. The boots definitely freshen it up to my preference. And last fit, we will be styling this cream crew neck from Second Layer. It's a pretty small low key brand that I recommend checking out. So the crew neck, shorts, crew socks, athletic sneakers, and a dad hat. You can never go wrong with this. It's cozy and you don't really have to think too much about how your fit looks while still looking pretty fly. I think crew necks and shorts are an underrated look as well. And this is definitely an athletic look for more comfort. But since it is currently fall as I'm recording this video, I will throw on some accessories, a bag, and swap the shorts for olive cargo pants, and then throwing on the Niger 2s. The fit with the shorts, you can probably rock that in the springtime, but I just find this fit to be more of my alley of simplicity and comfort, nothing too crazy, something you guys could easily replicate yourselves. And those are my typical crew neck outfits, nothing crazy. If you guys have any tips, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai, check out Days of September, and subscribe.